my crafty friends welcome to another beverage themed clean and simple card making video in the last video we used this die to make this card but today i am thinking of using these little coffee cup tea cup dies we've got a tea bag that goes with them a swirly whirly steam thing some decorative bits for the cups and a saucer so let's get on with it first things first i'm going to die cut my cups and a saucer i think and the tea bag from mixed media paper because i want to do some water coloring on my cups and i'll hold them together with a sticky note For my watercolours, I'm going to use these vintage pastels. I think these are Prima. And I'm going to use, I think, Apple Blossom, Breezy and Terracotta. So, that's Terracotta. That's Breezy. And that must be Apple Blossom. So, we've got a brown, neutral, a blue and a pink. And each pair of cups, I'm going to colour the same colour. Yes. So let's take apple blossom, mix up. Well, I'm not really mixing up, I'm just wetting the paint, but putting it on my palette so I know what the consistency is. And I think I'll paint the whole cup to start with. I put these on my grip mat, but they're quite small, so they don't tend to stick as easily as a big piece of paper to a grip mat, I find. But it does help a little bit. They don't slide around all over the place. Could you use a bigger brush, actually? So let's do the biggest ones in this breezy colour. stuck my finger in it so i've got a breezy finger now i'm using mixed media paper because it handles water very well it's not as nice let's say as watercolor paper to watercolor on but for something like this it's perfect and now terracotta for the little cups And I think we'll do the saucer in terracotta as well. It can be the base. I might go over these again because they're a bit blotchy. I think I needed to use a bigger paintbrush from the get-go. There we go, they're fine now. For the tea bag, I think I'll just use this dark rose. Just so it's a different colour to... The cups. And now I'm going to attempt some gentle drying. I find when drying something like this, a small shape, get your tweezers or a pokey tool or something and put them in some kind of aperture. And then when you dry it, it might blow around, but it won't blow away, if you see what I mean. So I'm thinking I'm going to have my saucer and a brown cup at the bottom, then a blue, then a pink, then a brown, then a blue, then a pink at the top with, oh, actually, no, I'm going to do it the other way around, I think, so that the pinky tea bag is sticking out the top of a blue cup. Then they will uh, complement each other well. And with these dies, they actually cut a slit that you can tuck your tea bag or another cup into. So you can make a wobbly old pile of cups. I might just snip off. There's a little, where are my little scissors? Where have they gone? There. There's a little burr there. I'm not sure what the technical term is when it comes to cups, but it sticks out and stops this tilting. So I'll just do that, cut that off. And then where are we? A pink one. 
can see we need to cut that one off as well. I might be able to tuck it under. Yeah, we'll tuck that under there. Then the top one is the blue one. I like that. And so they make a nice little pile of cups and we'll have the tea bag in there eventually just sticking out like that but we'll take that out for now and the saucer also has a slit in it and you can sit your cup in it like that so i think i'm happy with that arrangement before i do anything else i'm going to make sure that stays as it is by adding a strip of double sided down the back i'm not going to take the release paper off yet and I want to add the saucer as well. So I'm going to pop a bit of glue on the back of my saucer where it's going to be hidden by my cups and tuck that cup in there. I like that. So if the saucer's flat and we've got a nice gravity defying pile of cups. Now I just want to create some shadow colours and I'm going to test that out for each colour by taking a bit of the colour and taking a bit of this purple, which is soft lilac, and mixing it in to create a delicate shadow colour. I don't want to add black because shadows aren't really grey they are quite often blue tinted just because of the way that uh, light works i'm just thinking where to add it so this is the shadow that i will add to the breezy cup and i'll add a little bit here and a little bit down where the cups kind of meet. Might add a little bit more purple to that bit there. I'll just lift some of that because that's a little bit dark. There we go. I can always add a bit more breezy like that. Get it to spread out a bit. It just gives a little bit of dimension. Now let's do the pink cups. You can put a little bit under the ring of the handle, but honestly the idea is just to give a vague sense of depth. We're not trying to recreate amazing, realistic masterpiece of cups. I want to add a bit more breezy to this one because it's looking a little bit patchy. And now the terracotta. The terracotta, yes. Have a bit there where it goes into the saucer and the base of the saucer is going to be in shadow as well so we might actually give that bit a bit more of a shadow and then here we go terracotta shadow there whoops i lift up a bit of the release paper from the back of the double-sided sticky and pop my tea bag through here i can get it to stick on the sticky and maybe just add a tiny little strip of shadow I'm going to cut some of these decorative elements out of the white card so I've got four I don't think every cup needs one
yeah I think that looks fine so a little bit of glue there to dip them into My card blank today is 4 by 6 inches and I've got a panel that's a bit smaller all the way around so we're going to get a nice border. I want my stack of cups to sit about there I think and I want something for my cups to sit on so I'm going to use my scoreboard here to add maybe three lines I think. And then that can sit on there like that and it doesn't look like it's just floating in space i think there's plenty of dimension already so i don't think we need to add any foam tape but i've got that double-sided sticky already on the back and i'm going to add some glue as well so it's all nice and secure For my sentiment, I've got a Just A Note stamp that I'm going to add about here. And I'm going to use Vintage Photo. I did think about black, but I don't want to introduce black. So I'm going to go with a coffee colour, I think. Yep, happy with that. Now I can stick this on my card blank. I decided not to add the embossed swirl above here because it doesn't make sense to me. I don't think it's necessary visually, but also I think these are cups that have been used and been collected up and so they're not going to have seam coming out of them, I don't think. That's me just being extra literal. I'm going to add crystal glaze to the decorative elements so they're glossy, dimensional or even more dimensional. I was going to use glossy accents, but both of my bottles are currently bunged up, so I need to get a pin and unbung them. But crystal glaze is pretty much the same thing. So with this, I'm hardly even squeezing the bottle, just adding dots from what naturally comes out of the bottle, and then that way I can paint with the nozzle and get the not the glossy accents the crystal glaze into the nooks and crannies where i want it to go and not have it splurge she says all over my coffee cups of course you could crystal glaze or glossy accents your coffee cups because they would probably be shiny because they're ceramic i think that'll do so I hope that's given you an idea of something you can do with some coffee cups. Even if yours don't have the little slits in them, you can always cut them with a craft knife. And you don't have to watercolour them, obviously. You can colour them with any media you like, or even use pattern paper or solid coloured cardstock. Because there's plenty of decoration that you can add to them with or without these particular dies. You could cut little flowers and dot them on or little stars or use Nouveau drops to add little dots on them as well. So there's lots of ways you could decorate your coffee cups. Right, I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching. Do like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.